Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're going to be going through part 2 of the commendations for the Forsaken Shores event. Uh, so without further ado, let's take a look. Okay, so we've got banana in hand, they have a beautiful view uh, and we're ready to go. Uh, as we know it is now into the technically the third week of Forsaken Shores event so it means that the next lots of commendations have been released and it's all to do mainly with cargo runs so let's go over to the reputations and check that out I've managed to do all the uh, traveling to locations it's a pretty easy one to do we spoke about that in the last video and just tr and some of them moved about a little bit so I'm gonna make sure I get this right uh, here we go. So we've got the first one, which is Cargo Runner, which I've already completed, and that is you deliver 25 pieces of cargo on time in a prime condition. That means no damage. Um, it's worth pointing out as well, say like my ones are the top rank because I'm uh, Pirate Legend, so I'm level 50. Uh, you tend to get eight items per go. Um, so if you damage four of them, for example, if you had four bottles and you smashed them up, and you had the cloth and you have the plants, two of those each, for example, um, as long as they're in prime condition, they will contribute towards this uh, commendation. So it's not completing the whole cargo run writ. Um, it's just individual items, which is pretty cool. Next one is a, a legendary one or a master one. Uh, it is deliver 100 pieces of cargo on time in prime condition. I have 38 on that one. Uh, we've got the fleet cargo runner. This is going to be the most difficult to do, I think, in the sense of just making sure that we get people to help you. Uh, in an alliance, deliver three pieces of cargo on time and in prime condition. What you could do there is perhaps do get close to the objective and then join an alliance that way, maybe. I, I'm not too sure. Um, but then again, just alliancing up and just do cargo runs together, I guess. Okay, so the next one up is the legendary cargo runner, and it is delivering 200 pieces of cargo on time in prime condition uh, again a little bit what further to go there so obviously there you're gonna get the title and when you've completed that one uh, and then you've got this one here which is the other title for the legendary ones and then because I said they mixed it around a little bit the other one is over here somewhere if I remember rightly uh, it's here just <laughs> I don't know why it's over here uh, deliver 25 pieces of devil's raw cargo on time in prime condition obviously that's harder because you have to normally deliver on the islands in the devil's raw and as we all know the volcanoes are popping off all the time it's pretty crazy um, there's not not a legendary or a master one from that which is which is a bit of a shame as you see I've not really done these missions yet I'm still trying to figure out a method or best method for doing uh, voyages and all of the souls in the devil's raw it is chaotic indeed uh, so let me know what you think about cargo runs and these accommodations do you think they're fair I think they're quite fair apart from the Alliance one maybe I don't really feel they needed to do that when they stated that this one was going to be a bit more chill relax work at your own pace well now you've got to work with another team um, not that I don't mind I'm just saying uh, yeah let me know what you think about it um, yeah that's it we've got part two of the commendations for Forsaken Shores uh, cargo runs like I say let me know how you're getting on with them in the comment section if this video has been helpful for you then do please consider liking subscribing sharing and commenting enjoy those cargo runs don't smash those bowls keep those plants wet keep that cloth dry and take care